Golden Week, Lunar New Year celebrations earlier this year saw an estimated 250,000 tourists descend on Australia with a good proportion of those intent on buying a property while on holiday. Well, one property investment consultancy with expertise in helping buyers from China or of Chinese origin is H&T. And we spoke earlier to the chairman, Jerry Chen, and the CEO, Gordon Elliott, and began by asking if they noticed a pickup in activity this year. I think... Yeah, compared to last year, it's a little bit busier, but we don't think it's a peak up times. You know what? Every year, the Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, me, right? Not only Chinese people coming, or Asian country, for example, Japan, Singapore, Malaysia, Mongolia, all have a Lunar New, Lula New Year holiday. That's why all the people coming to Australia for holiday is quite, quite popular. So many people coming holiday, when they see some uh, apartment or some property, they are quite interested. They, they will buy it. See, I keep it for my holiday home. When I'm in here, I, I will live by myself. When I go when I back to, to my hometown, I will rent out. It's a good return. That's why part of our people buy it. We certainly heard that uh, Melbourne and the Gold Coast were in particular popular areas uh, for those Chinese buyers uh, where they were looking over that, that Golden Week holiday. Um, what did you see? Were those the sorts of uh, locations that are of most interest? Yes, it is. Um, we found that all through the eastern coast of Australia, especially Sydney, there's, there's a huge demand for property. It, it's not as high as it was last year, but it still is growing. The RBA shows that the figures um, for um, demand outstretch that of construction. So we're still in the position of demand over supply. And I understand that you're actually picking up on that interest, you're going to open a, an office on the Gold Coast. Yeah, why? Because um, we have uh, so many clients want to buy a holiday home in Gold Coast. Uh, because the last beach is the best beach for the people coming to Australia. A lot of our resorts and a lot of our places, the kids can go to play. That's why so many people like a Goku's. H&T uh, sells off-the-plan apartments. Now, there is a lot of concern about settlement risk for off-the-plan apartments in Australia right now, given there are so many projects, and also lenders are tightening up finance for these projects. What are you seeing? I mean, how great a risk do you think this is? It's always a risk. Uh, part of what H&T does, which is, um, which is part of our success, is that we do a due diligence on the builders and on the on, on, on the developer. Because you have to make sure if if you're helping a purchaser, you have to make sure that their deposit is safe. So if you're a purchaser and you don't do due diligence on the developer and if you give that developer your deposit, if that developer goes bankrupt, you're in all sorts of troubles. You've then got to chase the developer as a creditor to try to get your deposit back. We've done, we do due diligence as, as part of our process and that's never happened to us. What about the buyers though? Are you concerned at all given that there are these uh, this tightening of lending um, from uh, the bank certainly, um, that perhaps those buyers won't be able to come up with the rest of the finance? At the moment, we didn't ever see any trouble at all mm. because you know what, when I qualify the buyer, we always like a valuation the client can get a loan or not. For example, the client pay, can pay 20% or 30% or 40% deposit. If they can, sometimes a bank maybe only can give 80% loan. When they pay more, they can get a loan easier. They pay get a 70 or 60 or 50. They still can get a loan at the moment. That's why no big trouble at all right now. The, the that's right. The regulations are tightening up from the banks and from the lenders because they're looking over the horizon and they don't want to be in a position of a bubble happening. Um, and what we're finding is that you you have to tailor make the product to suit the purchaser. And if the purchaser cannot afford it, you just have to say to them, listen, it's not a good idea for you to buy this property. Got to ask you about rental yields, uh, which are down and, and have been falling for a number of years now, certainly from what you could get a, a few years back. What are you seeing in terms of this? At the moment, at rents, we 
And the market drop a little bit. This is true, right? Two years ago, three years ago is uh, almost five percent. At the moment, four to four point five is good. But we help client to do short term lease or long term lease. We we guarantee they can get a five percent. It's very really good for them right now. That's why still a lot of investment want to buy for that. We spoke to you both last year, about six months ago, about the market demand and price growth remains very strong, especially obviously in Sydney and Melbourne. Um, what are you predicting that we'll see for the rest of the year, 2017, in Australia? Well, the demand is still very high, so we expect to see prices continue to grow, regrettably, and um, also the rent market is still very strong. And Jerry, what, what do you think? Yeah, I think. This year is quite a good year. You can see the clear rate is very high. You can, for example, in Sydney, every week is more than almost over eighty percent. For for the national market, it's quite a stable market because it's a lot of uh, demanding demanding over the supply right now. That's why we think the market will be very good this year.